I'm going to take him and uh, go do his first dragon hunt. So back to Protector's Enclave we go. That way I can pick up chromatic strands, that way I can drop them in the coffer. Yeah. If you'll notice, my dwarfs, I'm kind of predictable. I've only got a couple of dwarf characters. They all ride boars. Let's get you set up to go. A little practice. As with the other one, I'm going to and see he's. I think he's got he's got even worse gear than the other one. Uh, summon me a new one here. I want to. Oh wait a minute. Where is she? Blasphemy assassin. And let me see if I need to switch this out. Before I do this, uh, no, that's good. That's good in that spot right there. Okay, so once again, do the first dragon hunt. One Alric. Yeah, ready for my first dragon hunt. Remember when the first dragon hunt used to come in the uh, form of Never Death Graveyard. That was that was always fun. Piling up to do the dragon, to get a dragon kill for uh, Tyranny of Dragons. I wish they would, in the storyline, they would re-implement a little bit of that. I'm a little disappointed in that. I think I've got a skill off. Actually, I may not even have a build on this one. Okay, that's the right one. That's the right one. They're out of sequence, though. Got my powers out of sequence, I think. It's just something seems off. Oh, come on. Come over here. Yep, that needs to be in the middle. That needs to... I need to swap those two. So we're going to do this. Powers. Oh, he's got a different thing. Your attacks deal critical damage. Increase your edge by two. Oh, okay. So, well. Now I'll do that. So he is not completely where he needs to be. Little slash or strike. Brass strike. Uh, okay. That's, that's different. Okay. J, oop. Let's see, boons, foot power. Okay. He has no boons at all. I have n never taken him anywhere. Okay, we want brass strike there, and we want to swap these two. That'll get my rotation back in place. Plus, he's a dwarf. I don't know. Really wish you could customize some of the weapons. I really want a big, huge, great hammer. Or a big, huge club. A great club.
and at least they've increased the drops of the lock boxes should be able to stack up a good bit of them now that they're not going to be available in oh six days uh, club like the new companion probably yes yes exactly that club would be the perfect one the one like Bobby has what I'm really interested in and the thing that <coughs> Magnus and I were talking about was the fact that uh, they wouldn't have put Bobby in if they weren't still tight, tied in tight with Hasbro, which means that Hasbro is still advocating for this game. I got a feeling we're going to see more of the uh, cartoon characters come in and maybe some of the uh, movie characters at some point and I the movie may actually end up being a campaign at some point which would be interesting but that too would lead me to go to the PVP you know I think they should they should institute the the arena as a PVP zone and the great thing is it's not just have it as a private instance but people that go down into the PVP zone you know, you enter in, let us watch it. Let it be a spectator sport. Let us cheer on teams. You know, let us have box seats to watch people, you know, fight it out. I think people would actually gather and enjoy that. You know, maybe if you watch a hundred PvP matches at the arena, you know, you get a spectator sport uh uh, achievement or title, you know. If you participate in a bunch of them, you get a, a you get some kind of title or award, you know. Especially if you win them. Lurker, lurker is a good one. Title unlocked, lurker. Yes, exactly. Uh, nope, <laughs> missed me. Make you come to me now. His first dragon kill ever. Yes, they do pay a lot of it. Well, that Neverwinter is their, you know, Neverwinter is the premier place currently in the tabletop game. Neverwinter is the is the jewel of the Sword Coast now, outside of. Uh, you know, water, it has supplanted Waterdeep since the spell plague. You know, in the official timeline. So, seeing it, and the thing about it is, is if you saw the movie, um, you know, they've been talking about, you know, Never Ember has been restoring Castle Never for years. And Castle Never in the movie was restored. Uh, I think we've got it nailed down to the movie is about four years off this timeline. It's, it's four years ahead of this timeline um, because AI happened, you know, the events in AI and the events in the movie were about a four-year separation, I think. That's what we were talking about. 1496, the movie happens in late 1490s, which would put it about 1499. So... If they're, if they're paying enough attention to this game and using it as their flagship, you know, property for the Forgotten Realms, it really is, um, it really is awesome that, that they, you know, hopefully they'll continue to pour, pour, you know, content into the game 
in the form of stories and stuff. But I thought the uh, adding Bobby was a it was a big step because with the with the cartoon being added, I mean that is an old school Dungeons and Dragons property. It also tells me that they're wanting to build a little attention toward doing something with it, which is probably going to be a live-action series eventually. And like uh, now, um, you know, uh, Joe Mangielli, Mangiello, Mangiello, is developing a show for Paramount Plus for. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Rumor is that that's probably going to be a Dragonlance property, but then there's also some talks about some other ones being in work. Dever, Devils on... Is it No Sympathy or is it The Devils? Because I'm, I'm looking for No Sympathy down here. Let me never win a revolution. Okay. Let me hop over. Never win a revolution. Because I'm pretty sure he's got my only enemy this time, too. Ah, yes, that's the one I want. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. Um, let me give you just a second here. Hang on, how? Let me. Stronghold. Gotta, gotta mark a couple of quests. One, that one. Uh, that one. That one on top. See the Wizard's Tower 3. Recover. That you recover scrolls from the Horde. That's what the Tier 3 is for Wizard's Stronghold. I don't even. I'm trying to think of what guild I was even in with this tune that might have done that. Oh. Did I change up? Two things real quick. I'm coming. I'm coming. I promise I'm coming. The Hellminster. And then I want to change the Red Slot's presence to the Stronghold Cleric. and hideaway and then I need not doing your part uh, keeping the peace well, those two up too because I want to look at the I want to look at the defeat enemies as I kill them to see how bad you know at times at times it's perfectly fine other times it's not so much fun there he is let us go kill some devils One, there's six down. Give them a chance to jump again. Where are the where are your spawn at? Where are your hell spawn at? There they are. See there's ten and I still haven't got it procked. Took twelve to get it procked, so there's we're two off. Devil's in the hideaway. We're at 20. Whoa. I took a hit there. <laughs> That's what I get for not paying attention. So, we're about six off. I gotta, I gotta. Up. 
And more kills. More kills. There's 60. So let's see. Ah, we got it at 62. We got it at 62. So the counter is off by two on this one. Seen it off as much as by 12 at any given time. Thank you, dear sir. Thank you. Thank you. Did your let's see, seventy-five interviews. Let's see what all. Oh, I got everything down here to do. Proc a giant. Don't know if you need the giant or not. But he's halfway dead. <laughs> Let's see. Also, got to kill an iron golem down here. Devils, devils, devils. I do love this area for just pure slaughter. This area is just great. Oh, he finally killed 250 devils. There's keeping the peace. Uh, why would it not let me target anything? I am going to run over here right quick. I need to kill a the Iron Golem. I don't know if you need the Iron Golem or not. But. You just need the Albert. Okay, I'm going to kill the Iron Golem and get rid of him. Then we'll... I'll run up to the owlbears with you and get them knocked out of the way. And then I've actually got everything in the stronghold to do at the moment. Um, I've got... Uh, I've been saving up quests on these tunes for a while. Obviously, since he just got his first... Uh, his first uh, dragon kill just a few minutes ago. Here we go. Oh, lag spike. That was big old lag spike. Big old lag spike really don't know what's going on. I may have to check my internet shortly. And, uh, Also gonna, I'm, I'm going to slip over and kill the, the bullet, bullet, the bullet. We were, we were looking this morning at an exact pronunciation of this, and there is appears to be no precise uh, bully or bullet. Yeah, there there seems to be a um, a multitude of ways that people pronounce it. Let's see, Albers, you need Albers.
Oh, there's beasts up there too. Beastie boys, beastie boys. I've still got to release the pixies. I still haven't done that one, but I'm kind of, kind of saving the stronghold mission for the uh, for the uh, uh, the stronghold storyline for the double because I really just want to do it from beginning to end on the double. Here, puppy. Here, puppy. Do, 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 do. Artifacts. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even I didn't even think about firing my artifact. I'm really bad I'm really bad about forgetting about using the artifact and the mount powers a lot of times in the stronghold because I just uh, I just run through and kill stuff. See, I think the Wizard's Tower, the PvP Wizard's Tower, looks really good there, in the middle of the, in the middle of uh, the homestead. Whoop! Did I leave you behind? Where did you go? Oh no, there you are. I'm just a rat. I'm an erratic driver, or rider, as the case may be. And I don't know if you heard me talking about it earlier, but if you come over here and look at this right here at the bridge, where the bridge is cut off, if you look here, this is the mirror image of that. It's the exact center of the stronghold. And if you peek over the bridge and then look back, it's exactly where we're at that's another stronghold exactly over there but they're flipped the stronghold is flipped like the the bridge down here where uh, dock supply woes is at actually crosses over to where the dragon hills is where the drakes are at it's uh, I really had hoped oh well and there goes my let's see that's the that's the other the other end of the stronghold. You can't, just can't get over there. That's a homestead in another stronghold. And we're blocked from going across. That's the exact same waterfall as on the other side of that bridge. Oh, is does it unlock? Okay. I, I believe it or not, you know how long it's I had how long it's been since I have been in a siege. <laughs> It, I haven't been in a siege since the siege was broken years ago. Um, I just have failed to do it. I'm going to dart down the hill here. And I'm going to hit... Well, and that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying earlier is the, is the Alliance does siege on the weekends and I've never actually done it because I don't really PvP. One of these days I probably need to get into it. Um, that way I can actually see how the stronghold looks whenever we do it. Whenever we do a siege. But it was funny because uh, 
Yeah, I was just talking about that. I, I would like to be able to have it unlocked all the time and be able to travel like from IP to Neverwinter Revolution to Fool's Brigade to Simeon Kinetics, you know, just be able, instead of changing maps that way, have it, have it laid out, you know. But I'd also like to see them open up the top area that they've got rendered but closed off up in, up here in the top of this map, this area, and allow us to build more boon structures up there, allow us to civilize that part, and then add more down here at the bottom, add more chaos and heroics or, you know, more stronghold stuff to do. But I think it's beautiful that you can see the, uh, the other strongholds. I see, and that's the thing. Um, the thing for me is I, I could never take PvP. But the times I've PvP'd in the past, I've never really taken it seriously. It's just not... PvP to me was just something to do. The most PvPing I've ever done in a game was in Star Wars Galaxies. In Star Wars Galaxies, uh, we typically did it as bunker busters. We would go in and raid bunkers, and uh, they would, you would have the, as a, I was a member of the Rebel Alliance, Siege of Corellia. Oh, in, uh, in the old, or the Star Wars The Old Republic, Tor. Isn't that Siege in it? The Siege of Corellia, or, yeah, the Siege of Corellia was in the Old Republic. See, what I did was, uh, what we did in, uh, oh, in Galaxies, maybe that was after I'd stopped, that may have been after I'd stopped playing uh, the PvP instance there, because uh, we did a lot of, ta the if you remember the PvP bunkers that you could uh, drop in, uh, in Star Wars Galaxies, and then you would, uh, people would drop Imperial bunkers and we'd find a, uh, we would find a spot of them and you'd gather, I mean, there'd be 200 people on either side. And I would either be doing the medic part and doing the DNA strand down in the, uh, down in the bunker to uh, get, so we could blow it up, or I would have uh, an entertainer with a sniper rifle outside. That was whenever you still had 72 meter rifles and the entertainers were only level one. <laughs> My entertainer had more PvP kills than any other character I had. <laughs> um, but the, uh, you know, I, I, you know, we didn't take it too serious. We just, you know, a bunch of us bound up and they tried to stop us from blowing the bunkers. We started, you know, the other bunkers. And then of course, uh, yeah, the Siege of Corellia, I don't remember that. That may have been after I had left the game. Um, was that in the latter part of the New Game Enhancements era? Because um, I know there was some PvP. I think, was there a Hoth? Was there a Hoth battle that was a PvP as well? Let's see. Oh, I forgot to do one of them. Guess what? I can kill them all at once. Um, but you know, I never took I never took PvP too seriously in that game. Oh, and what was it? There was the one area that uh, the planet that got destroyed. Uh, oh, what was that? Uh, See, I thought there was one on, I thought there was a battle for Corellia on, on tour, but um, I really didn't do much PvP in on tour either, unless I accidentally got caught, well, actually, I can't say that. Um, you know, the PvP that you could queue for leveling, like the hot ball and stuff like that, it was after the rework, okay. So that, I didn't do a lot of PvP, especially after that. Um, the tour, I did the leveling PvP. You had the uh, Alderan on. Uh, I know there was a PvP area on Alderan. It's been a long while since I've been in tour. I, 
I, I, like I said, I didn't do a lot of PvPing in Tor. It was, uh, I, I would either get caught out or I would do it as a leveling team because once you hit cap level, you couldn't get into the professional PvP. But, you know, as a leveling tune, whenever it all scaled, I enjoyed doing it. And would do it a lot. But, um, I didn't do any of the actual organized PvP in uh, Star Wars, the Star Wars Galaxies. Now, I've been on the Legends server. Now, the Legends server, I've gotten caught a couple of times in lockdowns or something that have uh, caused me to uh, caused me to end up in some PvP that I did not intend on and for which I I seriously ran ran to the there was Corellia Square yes okay on tour I remember the Corellia Square and then uh, on Galaxies didn't they didn't they do a Hoth thing, a PvP on Hoth, or was that a big raid on uh, Star Wars Galaxies? So I remember when they put that in, it was right after that that I stopped playing Galaxies. A lot of the people I played with had drifted away, and uh, between family and work, I didn't get to play as much. And then by the time I would have ever gotten back into it, the, the game was getting shattered. And the Galaxy Galaxies was my first MMO. And it was it was great. Net and the thing that tour the thing that tour really needs is the crafting from Star Wars Galaxy. Ah, not a problem. Enjoy. After this tune, I'm I'm gonna go fix. After I get done running here, I'm gonna go fix some stuff. But <coughs> yep, go get the phone. Real life aggro takes precedence over everything else. I've got a real life little aggro person myself. He's just napping at the moment. I can't let him do that too long, or he'll keep me up to midnight tonight. And I really need to get him, start getting in bed earlier. Oh, let's shuffle right on by them. Let's see, we've got nope. Drake's just popped up. I'll run up to Drake's after this, so I don't have anything else to do other than kill the Cyclops. But yeah, you know, Galaxies, Galaxies, Star Wars Galaxies was a great game because you know the major thing there was the crafting system and just the social the social aspect of the game. I mean, fashion was the end game there. That and titles, which you know, at one time I was a general in the in the Republic. Uh, I was a general in the Republic uh, in the Rebel Alliance. I said, "Who's saying the Republic?" I, I was a general, I, and I actually can grinded out enough PvP to hold my title for the longest time. But as the kids were growing, and I actually went through a divorce, and uh, the lady I started seeing after my divorce was, she, uh, she didn't like the fact that I played MMOs. So I had to choose, you know, I had to choose my games wisely and dedicate my time wisely. That's actually how I got into Dungeons & Dragons online. Let's get Argamas. Oh, poor Argamas. He never stands a chance anymore. Remember when he used to bounce me around all over the place. 
Okay, now we're up to Drake's. Then I gotta do the race, and this cat is done. Then I'll decide if I'm gonna do another one real quick or if I'm actually gonna go fix something to eat. I really should eat. I've got a headache, don't feel like eating. I had breakfast this morning. I had a good breakfast this morning. But I really just don't know if I feel like eating, what I feel like fixing. I really need to straighten up my living room because my son has it a complete and total wreck. There's nothing like a 14 year old autistic child with ADHD to help you keep the house a mess. Especially when it's just me and him. It's been just the two of us for almost 10 years now. It'll be 10 years shortly. And uh, he's my baby, he's my youngest. He'll be 15 in, in August. My oldest will be, oh, bless my heart, the oldest will be 35. Oh, look, another wizard's workshop. That is just a beautiful structure. It would be so nice if you could go inside it. It'd be nice if you could wander in the buildings in the stronghold. Just open them up and let you wander around. Just, you know, allow you to go in and decorate them, do things with them. That would require the cryptic to, or gearbox you know, that would require them to open up a few things, put a few things back, maybe give us some options for decorations. And that, that could be really something, you know, if you could do fashion items with the, you know, the, uh, if you could do fashion items with the workshop, the fashion items would be great. Fashion is always something, I mean, if you look at some of the other games, fashion is always something that goes on in games. Your, your peeps have to look good. Your tunes have to look good. The characters have to have a look to them. You know, some sort of style. Come here, you little. I hate that ambush strike. There's the last drakes there. And that's the heroic. And that is. Oh, I've already done mine. So, what we'll do here is we're going to go to. Back to the stronghold here. We are going to hit. These in in a second. We'll make sure what we got being wise on. Just do this. This makes the race really fast. We'll run our little race here and get our tier three win on it barring a catastrophe happening, which has happened before. It, you know, I have had things go go wrong before. Um, what I may look at doing here shortly is trying to set, set up Twitch Studio <coughs> on my Steam Deck. I may actually put the Steam Deck up and and launch it and try and work on getting it um, set up. Do, 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 do. Tier two earned. Now tier three. Can we make it? Can we make it through the Fey Canopy? That's another thing. Having all these structures built in here, uh, whenever you're running a race or something like that, it does clear or doing certain things. What? What? What was that? Did anybody else hear that? I heard that. Um, 
running a race like this or just running in the area, it really helps if you have structures built. And not every guild has been able to build structures up totally like we have. It's been a lot of years. I mean, it's been seven years of progress on this stronghold. And, oh, I don't know where I'm going. And of course, you know, props to Fool for keeping it going the way he did. That's why we have the have it named after Fool. when that happens. Okay, we'll drop that in there for the double, and we'll drop that in there for the collection, and we'll drop, yeah, we'll keep that. We'll just go ahead and keep that. Okay. Now we got to figure, oh, I got decorations in there. I got decorations. I tend to forget that. Okay. So, Change characters. 